And here is the under key circuitry. Here's the keys. I pulled this tray out. You can see the tray just kind of bolts right into there on both ends. And this other thing that we saw previous goes um, right in the front of it there. But all that circuitry is underneath. Those are all filters. See, they have a transistor and a few capacitors on each one. I'm sure those are wave shaping filters, and these are mixing pieces over here um, with just resistor packs to distribute the footages and so on. And uh, so that is uh, pretty much the complete circuitry on this thing. You've seen the board over here, you've seen the LFO, you've seen the generators. That is the overview. Now, I'll put up a, a video also of the Bauer organ while we're uh, putting this one up because they're very similar. They have the exact same uh, coils and uh, the Bauer only has three cards per, I think, on it. Hmm, can you see the resistor? Third card over, right there is a resistor. It's really bad focus. Anyway, it goes, uh, there's a resistor, the one on the bottom in front. Parallel it with a um, 12, 12 kilo ohm resistor to get a little more bass. Now it's a little more balanced. That was a uh, pretty weak bass. I don't know why. It may have a bad electro, like I say, and I'm just uh, not finding it. I checked the ESR on all those. They seem good. So I'm just going to put that little mod on it and call it good for now. Here's Mike and Bob looking at the new, uh, well, the old, uh, new, the freshly refurbished Fender. Well, hold on just a second. Let's do a quick sweep across here. This panel had some real problems. They had melted something in here. I mean, it was quite deep, and I, this material is, is uh, so you can melt it and actually drag it around and do some repairs. It really looks pretty good now. It's starting to look like a knot instead of a big wand got laid on it and melted down. It's the thing. Woody. And I've got. I thought we had two of these, but actually, this fell off, and underneath it is a plastic impression. And as I look close to the plastic, of course, it was very bubbly and messy. And I'm like, well, that doesn't look right. And oh, that's it. That thing sticks on top of it. I thought we had two logos. I thought one was from the stand. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, what is that? Spilled something on it. But um, anyway, yeah, yeah. I did a little JB weld back there. I'll have to match in, and I'm thinking of putting a strap under this whole thing and just clamp and gooping it in order to uh, increase the strength of that area because somebody obviously brought the lid back and cracked those points, and so um, that will really be a big enhancement. But yeah, this thing is uh, cool. Here, Mike. Oh. Uh, right yeah. It's got the uh, A, A and B or A B. You can put. I think I showed you that one. between the two voices. Very Pierce voice there. <laughs> we brought down the house. <laughs> okay, anyway. We don't have any children. <laughs> That's the problem. Children? To we be continued no next children. week. <laughs> Badgers? Don't badger me about the children. <laughs> no stinking badgers. <laughs> Yep, yeah. And for anyone who hasn't seen Weird Al in UHF, that's uh, that's uh, related to that scene where he's yeah. Anyway, 
Okay, so that's uh, that concludes our first episode. I'll try to do something in the studio with it and mm -hmm. get some uh, good um, song down with it before we uh, sell it and we sell it. Captain's blog, star master date to what is this? I'm working on for most of a week here. On and off, but uh, added a little uh, variable resistor right there. You just pull the 220 ohm resistor that sends across right there and add a 470 there uh, that you can vary to it worked a second ago hmm what could have happened did I move something that I don't know it worked great a second ago. Okay. They were a pretty good difference there, but I hmm, probably didn't hear much there for a second. Something intermittent. Maybe that dia resistor's a little dirty or something. It's quite a bit better, yeah. It's definitely, uh, definitely working better. Yeah, we hear a pretty good jump in the vibrato. You just could barely discern any difference. The 220 ohm wasn't enough to lift it. You could put a bigger resistor there yet, I suppose, if you wanted to make it even more profound. Anyway, Bob Weigel Sound Opera and a little mod for your Star Master if you're one of the nine or whatever people that have one of these now.